Hey guys, welcome back to your channel. This episode is Consciousness and the Beginning of the Universe. I always wanted to talk about this episode since I was so much fascinated、uh, by this, how the universe was created、uh, since I was a kid. I was always wondering how the universe was created, how it was like before the universe was created, and why it was created. And as I grew up, I had less time thinking about that kind of stuff. But when I was studying in the UK, I had more free time and I, I started to think about how the universe was created once again. And I、uh, was curious. And I always thought not only、uh, physics describes it, maybe in religion and other、uh, fields,、um, they also might describe how the universe was created. So today I'm gonna share my thoughts on how I think the, the, this universe was created with everyone. So I will begin with the Big Bang theory. Big Bang Theory, this is not a TV show, this is a theory theory.、Um, I guess many people will think of Big Bang Theory, which was first、uh, argued back in 1948. Actually, before that, people didn't believe in the Big Bang Theory. People thought the universe was always there, there was no beginning. But、uh, since Big Bang Theory,、uh, Was,、uh, like, argued. And nowadays, I guess, people, most people think there was a beginning in the universe. And Big Bang Theory argues that the universe was created in a matter of second, or actually less than second. In a very, very short period of time, there was an enormous explosion with very, very high temperature and density. And, The universe was created just in a, like a second. And the, the inflation was so much that a champagne bubble, like a tiny one bubble, has, became as big as solar, our solar system in a matter of s e c o n d That's what the Big Bang theory describes the, the beginning of the universe. It, de- it describes how this universe has begun, but it doesn't really describe why, <laughs> why it has begun. I was always wondering why the universe,、um, had to exist to begin with. And then I, when I was studying in the US, many of my friends were Christian, so I also used to go to church. And then there I read some,、um, Uh, we had some Bible study and the Old Testament Genesis says how、um, God created this、um, universe. It says, in the beginning, God created heavens and the earth. And God says, God said, let there be light. And he saw the light and he saw the light was good and He separated the light from darkness. So in Genesis, it describes that God actually created this universe. And this Genesis and the Big Bang theory seems to be contradictory to each other, but I think they are actually talking about the same thing after I studied the quantum physics. As I talked in the previous episode, in the quantum physics,、uh, as the double slit experiment shows,、uh, when、uh, you observe something, it will get materialized. When you don't observe it,、uh, it's just like waves. So multiple states exist at the same time. But the moment you observe something, Uh, in other words, the moment you're conscious of something, then it will get materialized. So when you apply this theory to how the universe、uh, began, 
I thought maybe there was some conscious being in the beginning of the universe which thought, oh, I'm gonna create the universe. And then that conscious being created a universe in a matter of second. So this can kind of explain both the Genesis and the Big Bang Theory. The Genesis is that God created the universe. God can be described as this conscious being. Um, God somehow thought, oh, I'm going to create the universe, and he created the universe. And how it was created could also be explained by the Big Bang Theory because the consciousness is it's just an instant thing, you know? When we are conscious of something, it's just really instant. It's like from no, from nothing, we can think of something, we can be conscious of something. That moment is really short period of time. And we are actually creating something from nothing, which is just like Big, big Bang Theory. But as I did some re- research for this episode, I found that some people argue that uh, even before this current observable universe was created, they might, there, uh, maybe there was some old universe, and it's just like the, the universe is like on breathing. It has fa- it has a phase of expansion and a phase of shrink, shrinking. And Big Bang was just occur at the timing of expansion. So I'm not sure. Maybe there was something even before this current universe was created. But anyways, when this current universe was created, I believe that there was some conscious being that actually thought, oh, I'm going to create the universe. And then that's how the universe was created. And my image of this creator and this conscious being is something like a programmer, you know? Like, uh, we nowadays can program something, right? Uh, coding. And we can program some, you know, applications, um, other softwares and stuff. That's also like create. I always imagine the god as a programmer. <laughs> it's like a hipster programmer. He thought, oh, I'm gonna create the universe. And he was conscious about it. And in a um, matter of instant, he just created a universe. Actually, there was people who argues this um, simulation theory. Um, I'm not sure if... uh, I heard that there are professors from either Oxford University or Cambridge University. Mm, Those people are actually seriously studying uh, whether this universe is a simulation or not. They argue that if we can create a simulation which is highly sophisticated, then surely the universe we are living um, can be a simulation as well. So maybe this is also talking about the same thing. I do believe that in the beginning there were some conscious beings which um, was conscious to create this universe and that's how this universe was created. And as I did some research for this uh, topic, I found that um, there's this no- Nobel Prize winning German physicist called Max Planck, um, who uh, who is the father of, of quantum theory. And uh, he also said that, um, quote, I, I regard consciousness as fundamental. I regard matters as deriva- derivative from consciousness. We cannot get behind consciousness. Everything that we talk about, everything that we regard as existing, um, postulates consciousness or it requires consciousness, which means everything that we regard as existing requires our consciousness, meaning without our consciousness, we cannot um, regard something as existing. So this consciousness plays 
some big role in our um, universe or all the things that exist that we think e exist and I'm so much fascinated by this consciousness what is this consciousness although it's so um, familiar to us like we cannot live without consciousness every day we are conscious of something like what do I want to eat what where do I want to go um, what shall I do um, what's my vision, what's my future, what's my job. We are always conscious of something. And so in that sense, I even believe that um, we are also a conscious being, and the conscious being that created a universe is just um same as us, meaning we are also the creator of this universe. Does this sound crazy? If you have some ideas of your own, um, I would love to hear from you on how you think the universe was created. And I, and one step further, I even think this conscious being, why he created the universe, uh, how he, I mean, with what kind of feeling he created it, the universe, I think he, he, I don't know if he's he or she or it or, something that we cannot even imagine, but this conscious being, um, I will just call it he for the moment, for the convenience. He created this universe with love. I think he created it, this universe with love, um, the love as the, you know, as the motivation of, uh, this creation and we as a human being is also a conscious being and every day we um, are creating something in our life and whether we create it with the feeling of love or the feeling of fear is up to us we can do both and I think the universe was created by the feeling of love so um, this is even the purpose of a human being um, existing in this world, I think. Um, we came to this world and we became conscious because we wanted to experience um, the love through our life experiences. So this love is um, a very deep theme in, in me. I, I want to um, dig into this theme, love, a lot more in my life even i have just came to um be conscious of this love as a um as a motivation of creating this universe so anyways um after studying the religious book and um the big bang theory quantum physics i think this universe was created um, from some conscious being or he or she thought, oh, I'm gonna create the universe with love and that's how it was created. It might sound crazy, but it's my theory and um, I guess many people have different theories on how it was created. I would love to hear um, what do you think this universe was created? Okay, I'll stop here. Bye-bye.